We went through the worst attack we've ever had on our country. This is really the worst attack we've ever had. This is worse than Pearl Harbor. This is worse than the World Trade Center. Wanted to, uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch, you don't have to touch things, right? But the air, you just breathe the air, and that's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. how dangerous it was, how all this deadly disease ripped through our nation. He failed to do his job on purpose. It was a life and death betrayal of the American people. Can you address the uh, concerns from the Woodward book in regards to whether did you mislead the public by saying, uh, that you downplayed uh, the coronavirus and that you repeatedly did that. Well, I think uh, if you said in order to reduce panic, perhaps that's so. The fact is, I'm a cheerleader for this country. I love our country. And I don't want people to be frightened. I don't want to create panic, as you say. And uh, certainly, I'm not going to uh, drive uh, this country or the world into a frenzy. intentionally mislead the American people about the threat of COVID. The president has never lied to the American public on COVID. The president's been very, the president was expressing calm and his actions reflect that. How do you reassure the American public going forward that they can trust what you're saying? Well, I think that's uh, really a big part of trust. We have to have leadership. We have to show leadership. And the last thing you want to do is create a panic in the country. Thank you.